the bump? As we take a look at the people and trends shaping our lives tonight, check out the latest steps on the dance floor. It's not couples moving to the music, it's crowds, and your kids could get hurt doing it. It's called moshing, and it's happening at local music clubs here and now. Dave Dyer and his friends may act like an angry mob, but they're actually moshing. I don't know how to describe it, you just do it, you know, it's in a bad place, you know, if it moves you, then you move. Moshing is a new twist on slam dancing, except it's not exactly new. The craze has its roots in the punk rock scene almost 20 years ago. <laughs> There was a thing called pogoing, which was a dance where people jumped up and down. You get tired and you start bumping into each other. Jeff Ward is the manager of Club Babyhead, a place where developmental music is played. Ward says moshing was once a free-for-all in the underground scene. Now it's mainstream. Metal came along and it turned into a whole different thing. It became kind of a painful thing. And that's the worry. Some see this ritualistic group dancing as dangerous. A lot of people in concerts across the country have been getting hurt in the frenzy that takes place in the so-called mosh pit, which is right in front of the musicians. As a manager here, are you concerned about safety? Well, it's very self-policed. You know, uh, the majority of the people that are involved in it take care of each other. Somebody falls down, ten people pick them up. Dave Dyer says getting mauled doesn't stop him from moshing. But I've, you know, I've been coming here for quite a few years and I've only got only got hurt like once. I got hit in the lip once and I, I got a bloody nose. That's it. Now, I find it fun when I do it. You know? Other people think it's crazy. One guy we talked with says it's not crazy, but it's not as tame as the two-step either. And he confesses he did it as a kid. It's not, it's not a bad thing at all. But you don't do it anymore? No. Why? Uh, my bones hurt. I have to take care of my body so I can do other things. And what about the performers? Kirk Fisher is lead singer with the band Buzz Oven from Virginia. It's interesting to watch sometimes. Some people get really ridiculous about it. At times, sometimes their energy, their response, you know, give, makes you, in return, you know, probably put on a more energetic show at times. But Josh Newton from the local band Glazed Baby has a different take on moshing. Well, yeah, it's, it's unnecessary because then people are afraid to come up to the front of the stage and there's like a semicircle of what I call fear. You know, because everybody's afraid to get hit, afraid to get punched. We don't encourage it. If people are doing it at our show, we actually ask them to stop because it's, it's 20 years old, you know, and it's, it's, it's over. It's done. It's time for something new. But until the new dance fad comes along, moshing is the craze at center stage here and now. You know, because of some of the dangers, several communities have banned moshing at school dances.